he's a part of Tiger Kellerlock. Says he believes he's worked out Kellerlock. Says Kellerlock could be one dimensional. Plans to break him apart with superior Muay Thai tonight. Particularly looking forward to seeing this man, Chorfa, talk up tonight. Yeah, Chorfa has fought some of the very best athletes in the Thai stadium. He's fought Bratang on a couple of occasions and really looks good against him. Chorfa is a very aggressive Muay Thai fighter. He has a big kicking game. He likes to close the distance and work those six hands as well. He's got a strong clinch. He's really well-rounded, and in this matchup, it's going to be important for him to put that pressure on Tajir. He wants to march forward, throw heavy shots, and really look to do damage. His style is explosive, similar to Rod Tang, so we can expect that similar type fight. This is the first time that he's been in small gloves, and so he's looking forward to really showcasing things here inside the circle, Mike. Did you ever say Simpson or fought any stage dragon that simply kissed the up? Deadly kisser, I yeah. remember commentating him in the late 1990s and my word, what an extraordinary champion he was. The deadly kisser Simpson Oi. Let's see if this man, Shaw Far, can channel any of that specialness that Simpson Oi had. Shaw Far, 100 pro wins. Rachel Stadium fight of the year against Rod Dung. And as the Dragon said, like to march forward and trade those heavy shots. Yeah, and that's going to be important for him. He's going to want to close that distance to Tiger and really apply a lot of pressure because Tiger does his best work when he's going forward. So it's going to be important for him to control that center and push the pace. We well, don't want to say, of course, that St. Kudoy did pass away uh, last year in May, if I remember correctly. But uh, he's one of, the, one of the absolute legends of Muay Thai. This will be interesting. There is a battle-hardened face on Shaw Pass or St. Kudoy. And these crowded armbands adorning the biceps of the Thai fighter. He believes he has unraveled Tajir Kalanov. Let's see what Shawfa has in store for us tonight. Just in ring. 
Beach. Once again, point tie rules. Three by three minute rounds scored on a ten point must system. No throws or grappling. Three knockdowns in a round. It's over. Here's Dom Lau. And now we have three three minute rounds of flyweight Muay Thai. Introducing first. Out of the blue corner, he stands at 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 100 wins and 42 losses. Training out of San Yanoi Jim, representing Thailand! Sean Fa His opponent out of the red corner. He stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Training out of 7 3 Muay Thai Jim, representing Russia. from Olivier Goss from inside the Mall of Asia Arena in the middle of the Philippines at Muay Thai John Tech. Russia versus Thailand. And there you see the deadly kisser symbol on the trunks of the Thai. Right, just all far. Just, just Celebration high. ready. Of his late, ready. very great trainer, Top. the deadly kisser, Pink Tanoi. So let's indeed see if Kalilov does count him early. Cannot allow Chaw Far to establish rhythm. Jab two from Chorfa. Kalilov with a jab. That's the first body kick that was a strong one. Yeah, you can do that. The stud. That right kick landed to the ribs of Takia. Right then scoring with knees in the fish. Good high knee there from Chorfa. And they gained really strong clinch. Takia is struggling to get out of it. So already if you're scoring that very short clinch game you saw there, it was points put down for Chorfa. Big right hand, overhand elbow from Kalilov, gut punching knee from the Russian, crossing elbow. Trying to push it out in close to here, Kalilov. Cracking round half kick for the upper left rib cage. And already you see it welting up, it's ready. Beautifully timed uppercut on the approach as that, as 